All right, guys. Today we're looking at the video from Press NH Now. Uh, this guy's great. He's well. I'm being sarcastic when I say great, of course. No, this idiot. He's he, he's doing a good old-fashioned post office audit. I haven't seen one of those in a while. What I love about this one is that uh, the title of the video is uh, Karen's Gone Wild at the Post Office, and I love Karen's Gone Wild videos. But this is like a lady says. Excuse me, sir. Why are you filming me? Oh, Karen! Oh, look out! It's Karen! This this guy's a freaking twat. Check it out. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm working. I know, but for what and why? What do you mean? Never seen an auto editor video before. Never done an audit before. Have no idea that it's a thing that people get upset when you film them. Gee, I have no idea what you're talking about, lady. Hmm. <laughs> Moron. Are you taking pictures of everyone going in and out of here? In a public space, yeah. I'm just documenting uh, the post office and doing my job. For the post office? I don't work for the post office, no. Can I ask you why you're so curious? Seriously, lady, this guy's so stupid, he probably really doesn't understand. You should answer. Oh, no, wait, don't, because then you're just taking the bait. Run away! Run away! Uh, well, I'm not sure all these people want to have their pictures taken without knowing why. Okay. And well, why do don't seem willing to tell me? Why do I have to? You don't have to. Well, it's, I, it's like me asking you why. One, so why are you coming to the post office? Did you see that little t text there where it said, "How come my camera's different?" That's another thing that these guys love to say, and I always, always, always get so mad because security cameras exist so that if something happens, they can go back and look at the security footage. You, some douchebag on the corner with a phone, can take your stuff home and zoom in on people's personal information from the letters, or masturbate to the girls, or do any crazy thing you could think of, and that's what people are worried about. You, morons never understand it. Dumb ass idiot moron. Oh, you're so dumb. You're so dumb and dumb and dumber and stupid and... Are you mailing something? You are required I am? by good manners oh. to tell someone and ask permission. Not at all, ma'am. I'm following the law. There's no expectation of privacy in public, ma'am. Oh, no. He just said the magic words. You better look out. You are cursed. You are cursed by the magic words. There is no expectation of privacy in public. Here we go. We have a Karen. Sometimes you could sense um, the different type of people that you come across and uh, who you're gonna, who's gonna act different, you know? Some people just walk by, some people just can't mind their own business. As I'm doing myself. She seems to think that she needs permission. That I need permission to uh, record people in public. This is an ongoing issue in this country. And uh, people just don't understand there's no expectation of privacy in public. And they're going to learn the hard way. One way or another.
now she's becoming the story that I'm here for. What? Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? And now she's becoming the story that I'm here for. And the story that I'm here for. Good, you. Stock much, ma'am? Do I have your permission? What they tell you? Cam back, cam back. This makes them feel better for some reason. Ma'am, I don't give you permission to uh, take a picture of me. You need to sign a consent form, ma'am. I don't give you permission. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Have you ever been mistaken for a man? No. Have you? <laughs> Unbelievable. Is that, the, is that the post office upstairs too, or? No, that's private residence. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, it's just leased out? Yeah. Oh, it is? Okay. All right. You got a profile or something? What do you mean? For the videotape. Yeah, I'm just documenting the ins and outs of the post office. Oh. Yeah, it's been some complaints, so I'm just documenting. Oh, yeah. cool. What kind of place? Um, the timing of the post office being open and closed uh, for, for convenience for the public. Okay. So it's just kind of inconvenient for them for the times that they close during launch and gotcha. people, you know, try to rush over here to get things done during their lunch hour and, you know, they're closed. Okay. So, gotcha. yeah, most people have to come on Saturdays. They've been complaining online and nothing's been done. So, gotcha. yeah. All right. So here I am trying to fix that. Cool. Yep. You got a nice day for it. Yeah, it is. Thank you. Have a good one. No, 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 no. I'm not going to let you get away with that crap. Let's take a look at why he's here again, shall we? And now she's becoming the story that I'm here for. everybody for. I'm sorry? Taping everybody for. What do you mean everybody? I'm just... You're taping everything. Oh, yeah. I'm just... I'm working. For what? What do you mean? Why are you videotaping? I'm just curious. I'm just documenting. Documenting what? What do you mean, ma'am? Why are you asking me so many questions? Because it's very odd that you're out here photo... you know. It is? Yeah. Okay. Just doing my job. For what? What do you mean? I, I don't understand the question. For what? What, what job has you videotaping? It, well, it's my business, ma'am. Okay. I, I don't. I'm not asking you what you're doing. Okay, I'm getting mail. Great. It's yeah, quite obvious that I'm yeah. filming too. What? A prick. A sarcastic, nasty prick. A dick. A prick. A nasty, rotten, no good piece of s h i t. You know what it is because she's at a post office. So duh, she's getting mail. But. 
standing filming at a post office. Guess what? That's not normal. Why do all of you freaking idiots think that that's normal? That that's a thing? That people don't have their personal private information written on their packages that you could look at later in the video if you wanted identity theft? Have you ever heard of it, you bug-brained buffoon? That subject is walking back to the VA with one of the VA police officers, so we're going to be clear for now, he is still going to do that, he's going to run, but we'll see. All right, so the next few minutes are just a bunch of dead air and more chatter on the police scanner, talk box, whatever it is, radio. Um, so I'm going to skip all that nonsense and uh, get to the next bit. All right, everyone. Well, I'm going to go inside, look at Post 7, and uh, get a stamp. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? Oh, I'm uh, doing a little recording. What's that? I'm doing a little recording. Oh. I'm, I'm working right now. Okay. Thank you. I'm just going to sneak right over here. These are rules and regulations. 2016, poster 7. Alright, I haven't watched this part yet, but I had to stop it here. Please, 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 please do it. Do it. Do it. Stop before the part that says, except when an authorized personnel, an employee of the post office, for example, asks you to stop recording. Please don't read that part. Please, please, please don't read that part. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Photographs for news purposes may be taken at entrances, lobbies, foyers, quarters, or order terms when used for public meetings. Please turn control down to you can use one the plane, and I'll be in. Oh, I'm sorry? What's going on? I'm documenting my visit. Oh, okay. Why do I need to? There's a mask mandate. Yes. Yeah, I don't believe so. There is in Hartford. Yes, there is. Okay. Well, that's your opinion. No, it's not. you call the town of Hartford? Okay. Yeah. I'll be with you. Gee, I'm an honest, hardworking, good American citizen, freedom fighter, out here on the streets, doing a good job, and I'm never, ever gonna lie, except when I told the dude the reason I was doing this was because I wanted to, like, deal with the post office about their hours, which, I mean, calling the postmaster would be a good thing, right? In fact, how come you haven't asked for the postmaster already when they said, what are you doing? Why didn't you say, I need to talk to the postmaster. I need to talk about your business hours. Or is it because you lied to that guy? Oh, just like Schrodinger always used to say, you have to lie to fraud it. So, guess what he's doing? He's lying. Wow, what a surprise. I've never seen that before. Frickin' douche hammer. Have a good day. Hey, can I get a penny stamp, please? Do you have a postmaster here today? I certainly do. Can I speak with him, please? Hey, Bonnie. Yeah. Can you please come here? 
Thank you. I'll take a receipt too. You have it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. So almost 20 minutes into his video. Well, actually over 20 minutes is because I cut out a lot of dead air. He finally says something about the hours of operation. So I guess the only reason he did that was so that if the cops get involved, he can go back and say, well, I told them that I was here for the hours of operation. And look, here I am asking about the hours of operation. But the fact of the matter is, he stated quite clearly, this Karen is the reason I wanted to film here. I showed that a few times. So you're not pulling any wool over our eyes. The narrative never matches the content. And you'll also see when he's talking to the postmaster that she isn't going to say one syllable about him recording. It never comes up. And yet he still decides to shove the poster seven in her face. Oh, well, do you know about poster seven? You know, it tells me that I can record. Nobody said you couldn't. Nobody said you couldn't. A couple ladies earlier asked you if you would please not record them, and you immediately accused them of being Karens, but nobody ever asked you to stop. Not once, not anyone, not ever. So what's the problem, asshole? Hi there. Hi. Are you Bonnie? I am. Hi, Bonnie. You're the postmaster? I am, Hi. yes. Um, do you have a name tag? I most certainly do. Oh, okay. Does she have a name tag? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, she has her ID. Right, I just yeah. want to make sure. Um, sure. So I just have a um, small concern I want to bring to your attention. Um, okay. I don't know if you guys look at your Google reviews at all. Um, um, I, I wasn't aware that we had Google reviews. Yeah, every, well, a lot of places do, especially oh. the post offices. Okay. Um, being the postmaster, um, you know, there's a lot of customer complaints on there. Oh. And I just want to make you aware of it. Um, oh. It's got a lot to do with the hours of business um, that's disrupting the public from coming in to get their mail at certain times. A lot of people have to come in on Saturdays um, and not during the week because of the hours that you're closed during the during the day for lunch and so forth. It just seems like maybe you're understaffed or so. Um, um, I just barely became postmaster a week ago. So. Oh, you did? Yes. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I just want to bring that to your attention. Um, yeah. And I don't know if you're aware of Postal 7. Do you know the rules and regulations on postal property? Um, yes, I do. Okay, yeah. No, you're in compliance with it. I just want to make sure that you know about the filming and recording in, in a public building um, yeah. that is on the Postal 7. If you so. have, yeah, if you have any comments, you would have to get a hold of our um, our postal person. to He would be the one that would speak on behalf of the post office. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you're running, you're supervising the post office. That's, I'd rather bring it to your attention. Maybe you could bring it to theirs. Um, just look on the Google reviews. Go over it. Um, it's a lowest star rating. Um, people do look at that and they do leave reviews. Um, and a lot of those, uh, the reason why I'm here is because I want to bring it to your attention, knowing that there's a lot of um, the hours of business are affecting the public from coming in to get their mail and their P.O. boxes have to come in on Saturdays, uh, their day off. So okay. a lot of people yeah. try to come during the lunchtime of their lunchtime to come here to grab the mail and it just kind of disrupts their business of living, you know, so. Thank you. All right. All right. Appreciate Thank you. you. I appreciate have it. Have a good day. You too. You're very welcome. So that wasn't too bad. My son, you're about to turn 18. You're going to be a man soon. And when you go out there into the world, I want you to be a real man. The kind of man who fights for what he believes in. I want you, I raised you, to be a good person, to help other people. I want you to go out there in the world, and I want you to fight for something. So tell me, there are so many important issues that you can fight for. There's starvation. There are people in the world who can't afford basic medicine just to, to survive. You could fight for them, you could fight for their rights. And then there's, in our own country, the widening gap between the rich and the poor. There's homelessness. Most homeless people are there because 
they have some sort of mental issues or addiction problems. You can fight to get them the help that they need. What, my son? What important issue are you going to fight for as a man? Look, bruh. So, the other day I went to the DMV. And low-key, the dude who was working there was extra. All right, and he's trying to tell me I got to, like, pay some kind of fee to get a driver's license. So... I just left, man. I didn't pay it. I ain't got no driver's license. So, what are you fighting for? Well, hold up, man. I, I'm going to check my phone. Hold on. I got it here. It's right here, man. One of my buddies told me about it. Uh, so, uh, oh, yeah. All right. It's the right to travel unencumbered. The right to travel, man. That's what I'm fighting for. That's my thing, yeah. My son, my one and only firstborn child, he's an idiot. Thank you.